pollution of the Vartur Lake in Bangalore has got residents very angry. It's seen froth and visible effluence for years now, but this week, white foam is more than it has been in recent months. Maya Sharma joins us from there for more on this. Maya, uh, from the images, those seem like industrial effluence and not uh, domestic household sewage, clearly. Uh, what, uh, what are the residents able to do about this clear crisis that's looming in front of them? Well, the residents, pardon the pun, frothing at the mouth, really, because look at what they have to live with. There are many IT firms around here, lots of people work here, lots of people live here as well in this Whitefield area. There are schools here as well, and now we're going to speak to a young school student whose school is about one kilometer from here. Now, Tausif, you've been part of trying to do something about it. You've taken water samples to IASC. What have you learned from that? We have took many samples of this water lake and uh, also we have borewell mapped the borewell mapping and we have took the many samples of the borewell's water, groundwater and we have took to the IISC where we have used T. Ramchandra biological, uh, where we also took the parameters of that and checked the harness, alkalinity and many pH meters of those. We have, uh, we have noticed that this, wa this water has many toxic chemicals and the harness is much than 600 mg per liter. Okay. And even due to this, the borewells are also affected uh, from this. And not only we are affected, but our, our nature is also due to this. Standing here, I can smell the very bad pungent smell here. And the, due to this, hair is polluted. And the water is also polluted. And not only we are polluted, but also animals using the fodder which will be on that, will be taken as a fodder for the cattle. They feed it. It gives the milk and uh, all the dairy products is also yes. affected by this water. Not only we, but also amicals, animals and uh, nature also. Absolutely. The groundwater, the vegetables, the animals also affected. Your students, you're also a teacher at this nearby school. Yeah. Now, your students must also be very deeply concerned about this. Yeah. You're head of the Eco Club. What are you trying to tell your students about this? Uh, we actually, uh, I mainly, main, main thing in this is that is, children should know that uh, this is their lake. That means ownership. Yes. Once when we know that uh, this is my lake or this is their lake, then they will not allow anyone to do it. That is what I have created from 1998. But uh, from 1998, we have been water, uh, we have been analyzing the water quality, and then we saw that uh, every year it is getting the quality is getting uh, deteriorating. And you cannot call this as a water body. It is nothing but a toilet pit. That's it. Yes. Where is it water body? And having a huge water body, then we should be blessed because that will really uh, uh, recharge. Yeah, Bangalore's lakes used to be a matter of pride. Yeah, right. But it is already gone. What I want to say, uh, Modi says that is Swachh Bharat. Where is Swachh Bharat? Swachh Bharat, it, Bharat does not mean that it's only solid waste. It should be even Swachh water also. And you can see it. And this is not detergent foam, as some people are saying. This is not, this is not detergent. It is a combination of a little bit of detergent, the human urine, and the fecal matter. Horrible thought. Yeah, it is, it is as, as filthy as it gets. So uh, our request is, we request uh, Prime Minister Modi to come and see this. And uh, they, we, we do talk about Swachh Bharat, we support Swachh Bharat, but we cannot uh, you know, allow the second largest water body in Bangalore to be in the state. Absolutely. You know? and, horrible thought. And, and also, this, the, this is where the Ganesha idols are getting immersed. Please think about that. right? This, this, this is not just happening to us, it's happening to our gods as well. So, A horrific state here, Vartho Lake in Bengaluru. A mix of urine and feces in that. Really a disgusting thought. This is a visual representation of just what is wrong with the way we are looking after our environment.